Hi everyone and welcome back to It's a Twin Thing. Today I'm going to be talking about insomnia, another symptom of pregnancy. Um, it's quite common. It can predominantly happen in the first and third trimester. However, some women suffer from it all the way through the pregnancy. Um, so this could mean that you struggle to fall asleep, you struggle to stay asleep, or you wake up and struggle to then fall back asleep. Um, so there's a few reasons why this does happen. Um, it could be due to the frequent urination, having to get up in the middle of the night and going to the bathroom. Um, it could be heartburn, it could be back pain, it could be the baby's kicking. And unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do um, to assist with insomnia. It's one of those things that there's few reasons why, it could be multiple reasons why it happens. Um, so it's a little bit difficult. Uh, so there, there's a few things that might help. For example, you know, a warm, hot um, shower before bed, just to sort of relax you. Any sort of relaxation, um, wind down type thing before bed, that may help. Um, you know, it, it's also due to, an, you know, the influx of hormones. So there could be a bit of anxiety there. Um, it, it, there's numerous reasons why it happens. Unfortunately, like I said, not a lot you can do about it, um, but it's quite common. Uh, so you're very normal if you suffer from it and you know, a lot of people, like I said, suffer from it in the beginning of the pregnancy and then it subsides and goes away. Other women suffer from it throughout the entire pregnancy um, and some just towards the end. I suffered from it. Um, minor though it wasn't was it major um, I initially it wasn't too bad um, but I was getting up frequently to go to the bathroom um, especially as I went on in my pregnancy because the baby's obviously getting heavier and pressing down on my bladder um, therefore it gave me the urge to go to the bathroom and once I was up I was sort of awake and it, I would struggle then to go back to sleep um, also being uncomfortable because I was quite heavy, so finding a, a comfortable position to sleep in um, was difficult. But, um, yes, but you do sleep. Like, it's not that you don't sleep at all, but it is a bit of a struggle. Um, but if you've got any questions, feel free to contact me, and if I can help you, then I will. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to be talking about body temperature. So as the influx of hormones come through, there can be alterations in um, your body temperature. So I'll be discussing that tomorrow. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.